Dr. Schneider has worked as a consultant on two successful Mars Rovers expeditions, the development of the hybrid Prius at Toyota, and most recently is now advising on a newly proposed Panama Canal project. We can't say everything is secure here until the waste has been shipped. And I gotta be honest with you, this is the first time I have ever heard Nevada try to turn something down for health reasons. <laughs> and let's be honest, we're in a state for booze, women, crime, smoking, and gambling, and the government's got the nerve to say your nuclear waste isn't good enough for us? <laughs> I think we need a new slogan to get the people in Nevada on our side, something like, uh, what happens in Yucca stays in Yucca. And I say that because if you think about it, the nuclear energy industry is in constant change. So today, we have two companies trying to prepare a mountain for disposal. We have another company analyzing all the geology to deal with the waste, while President Bush is just trying to pronounce the word nuclear correctly. Because <laughs> you see, things are so scary right now. I am nervous about terrorism, so much so, I gotta tell you something. I bought myself a gas mask, but I filled mine with nitrous oxide. If there's an attack, I'm getting free dental work done. Because <laughs> even around the world, things are bad. In Israel, things are so scary, they use pigs to sniff out explosives. This is unfair. These pigs are going, I'm in the one country in the world I thought I was perfectly safe. <laughs> I got to turn into a cow and move to India. <laughs> I know a lot of people are concerned about the $500 billion budget deficits in Washington. I know a lot of people say it's not fair to our kids. And that's true. But I have a 14-year-old son, and he's a pain in the butt. <laughs> so I say, let him pay later for his bad attitude now. <laughs> and that's why meetings like today have a value to exchange information. And that's another reason why I believe you folks here at BSC and Sandy are the best in the business, while the people at your competitors like TRW or Parsons are nothing more than a bunch of dorks who have managed to get lucky. And I say that today not because I mean it, but rather because I'm being paid a lot of money to say that. <laughs> so I hope you don't care when you find out to tell the people at TRW or Parsons they're the best and you're dorks at their next meeting. <laughs> I do think your companies are the best, though, evidenced by the fact, according to the Wall Street Journal, Bechtel is one of the top five companies of its size and kind in the country, which frankly is not that surprising, considering there are only five such companies of their size and kind in the country. But with that in mind, Ted assured me they're going to spend so much money advertising the Wall Street Journal this year, they're going to buy their way right up to number one. <laughs> See, when I began consulting for Ted, I did a little research and I learned how good you are. I found one of the best ways to get info is drive outside a company building and talk to people smoking. <laughs> well, let's be honest, these people are a bunch of lonely outcasts. You offer them a cigarette, pretend to be their friend, they give you information you didn't even ask for. <laughs> Which, by the way, is how I got dirt on a lot of you folks today from Mike and Sally Sullivan, Jim Salderini, and Bill Duffy. <laughs> and what's ironic to me is Mike Sullivan is the manager of environmental health and safety, so obviously, if he doesn't care about his own health to stop smoking, why should he care about any of you? Here's a guy that thinks toxic waste is actually healthful. <laughs> See, I think your jobs are all very similar. You have to deal with public scoping, decontamination, geologic disposal canisters, transport and waste package and emplacement systems in a desert climate with a deep water table for spent fuel pools, swimming pools, water slide parks, tritanium drip shields, and Kenny Rogers roasters. <laughs> while dealing with corrosion, heat, hazmat, hazmat, and photomats <laughs> to enable threat reduction by fingerprinting, facial scanning, iris scanning, and foot, hoof, and mouth disease, <laughs> while managing site prep, drainage products, risk retention, water retention, wildfire, earthquakes, hail, hurricanes, the Miami hurricanes, magna bulkheads, mango trees, locusts, the seven samurai, the three stooges, and a lot of other terms that proves to me you are the only ones that could possibly understand this, Drek. 
So I tell you, if I had to read this garbage every day, I would just shoot myself in the head once and for all and be done with it. <laughs> and by the way, I believe these are all the reasons Peggy McCullough finally left the project. <laughs> by now, um, many of you are wondering what I'm doing up here. And for those of you that aren't wondering, you're fired. Uh, the fact is, we didn't bring you here to someone for an actual meeting, but rather because your companies hired me so they could get you out of your offices, clean out your desks, and bring in all the new college hires. Um, thank you very much, and thank Rich and Ted for bringing me in here. Thank you. You know, that's a hard act to follow, so uh, I'm not going to even try. But, you know, the real message uh, that, that Harry brings us is um, while we'll be working hard this year, uh, we want to have some fun. And uh, laughter eases stress. As a matter of fact, I heard recently that the average adult needs to laugh 20 times a day to stay normal. So uh, <laughs> I think we accomplished that today, at least today. So uh, work hard this year, have fun. Uh, good luck on the incentive program. Thanks and uh, drive home safely. Have a great Memorial Day weekend.